And I want to produce uh, as many paintings as possible uh, because, like I say, art is, is a language. These works that I produce are statements, are words, are paragraphs, are my opinion, my voice, you understand? So, and this is the umbilical connection between me and your ears. For you to hear me, we need this umbilical co code. So, and my work is uh, for people to hear what I'm trying to say. I think they have to see my work. They need to come to galleries and find my work. In my latest book that is called Living with the Brush, I'm saying to my son, if you are going to be a witch, make sure you haunt. You understand? <laughs> if my son is going to be a witch, he should haunt. It shouldn't just be Muloyan Ela or Akura Halipirimi or Ahe, Lekarabo. Sons or Gora Sony Halipirimi, Ivo Ivo in Yanare Lansar. Because it's going to happen. <laughs> yes, because it's going to happen. Even this art, when I say I'm going to have an exhibition, expect an exhibition. When you hear my name, Wilson and Goni, know that you are talking art. That's the drive, Zoni. That's that's that, that, that's an artist. Otherwise, I have to quit. If I'm not producing artworks, I'll be lying to the people. I'll be lying to you, because the day I tell you that I'm an artist, I'm making a promise for me to produce works that you see. When I say I'm an artist, I'm making a promise. I hope you get me. I, I, I'm listening, man. You are inspiring me. Yes. So if I, don't produce artworks, if I don't produce artworks, when I promise you that I'm an artist, I think I'll be wasting your time and I'll be taking you for a fool. I'll be messing up with your integrity. Whew. Yeah, this is for everyone. <laughs> this is for everyone, sorry. Yeah. Welcome to Shine in the Light. My name is S.E. Walewa, and my guest today is one and the only, one and the only, our great artist, Wilson Ngoni. Well, go on, my brother. How are you? <laughs> Ah, no fire still burning, still surviving, still pushing, still living. We give thanks to the Most High for life, you know. Right, 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 right. So, 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 man, you, you, you've been working hard, man. Even if, if before the pandemic, through the pandemic, out of this pandemic, how have you been handling life, man? You know, especially for the last two years. Yo, 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 bro. It, it's it's hard. It's hard. Uh, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Us who, who feels it, we know. It's not easy. Uh, you know, it, it's been such a, a, a tough, tough, tough uh, moment. Uh, I, 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 I managed to pull through. Mm -hmm. I managed to you know i managed to to keep to have my life to 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 still be breathing you know you're looking good though <laughs> <laughs> thank you so you know uh mm -hmm. just that you know i'm still chained to oxygen makes me smile you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still chained to oxygen so i have the reason to smile right right yeah. right Man, every time I talk to you, man, you know, you you just bring in this wisdom, man. It, you, you know, and what you're doing, I think, is is it transcends even art. You know, I think it, that's where it starts, but it flows out with different streams. You know what I mean? To give life to people like me, you know, so that when we look at what you're doing, man, you know, you we can feel the energy, we can feel that positive energy. You know, your work is like so uh, therapeutic, but I must stop there for now, you know, so, <laughs> because I'm already talking too much. Um, so, 
Yeah. So, so, so let, 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 let's move quickly, my brother. Uh, tell me or tell us where we where you were born, where we where you were raised, and so forth. I am Botswana, bra, mm -hmm. born, bred, and raised in in Botswana, my mm -hmm. beautiful country. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up everywhere in the country. Like currently, as we are speaking, I'm in Mau. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the south also. Havani went to school. Havani CGSS went to school. Mm -hmm. Moedin College and only had uh, those years of uh, uh, academics. So I'm ju I'm just gonna like take your question and answer it mixed up, please. So that we can just have a chat. You you, you get me? I get you. Yeah. So uh, for for Beth, uh, exact place of Beth. I was born in a, at a place called Masunga in the northern part of of Botswana mm -hmm. in in the in the Kalanga Kalanga yeah. hood. I know Kalanga. that area. I know that area. I went to school in a uh, um, uh, high school at a matter space. So I used to go there. Yeah. So I think, I think, I think I'm just going to tell you as a secret. My mom went to look for a witch doctor, or a herbalist there. And you no, know, she, because she was heavy and you no, know, it just happened that because she, she's heavy and along with the child and she's in an area where she's looking for a herbalist and she delivered me. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful, though, man. <laughs> so you see, yeah, I, I, you know, at at my birth, uh, Sony, the, a lot of old women gathered. Mm -hmm. A lot of old women gathered uh, to welcome me. Uh, you know, I'm one of the most uh, fortunate uh, persons to walk under the sun, bro. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm one lucky, lucky, lucky person. You know. Uh, the herbalist gave my mom some some smoke. He, 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 he gave her some 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 muti. You know the way they 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 smoke an animal out of uh, a barrel. I was smoked out of the womb. You know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. That's that's pretty interesting. Yeah. yeah. You know. So yeah, that's how I was born. So I was born in Masunga, and from there. Went back to 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 Havani there to Tula Mosisi there to Bonteng there, uh, you know, and life continued. Well, that's awesome, man. That's one. That's that's wonderful, man. And and, and I like the fact that you know how you were born. It was so the way African people used to do it, right? You know, before I was born, we were. Born. I was born in a in, in a house. I was born in a round hut, you know, first, and you know. I remember very well because the the thatch had holes, so could see stars, you know. So, wow! And I was born before breakfast. Okay. Well, so what does that resemble? I I think some of these things they contribute to to what I became. Yeah. So I I I think some of these things. Uh, uh, showing my work. I, I tell you that. I can tell you yes. that, man. Yeah. You know, no, no, uh, definitely, man. You know, it, it's yeah. just amazing how our culture, how we were brought up, how yeah. you know our parents used to do things. Now we're now we they are not doing that anymore because we are bombarded by this Western world. What you're saying, Sony, just makes uh, bring, uh, breaks my heart to see. Uh, a modern day child they don't know they don't have or they don't experience the splendor of handwriting you know you understand they yep. don't experience the splendor of spelling oh my god i missed that yeah. you know they're always on the phones pressing the phones and if they fail to play to win a, a computer or a phone game they're mm. taken to a hospital to for to, for, a psychi for psychiatrist to, to 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 attend to them you know they mm -hmm. that and for for canceling Sony, if they fail to win a computer game, you understand. And then they end up being prescribed some medicine, right? <laughs> true, true, true. Sony, can I tell you what I've seen uh, of late? You know, someone got a, got pricked by a thorn just walking. In, you know, they they went for surgery. You get me? Mm. When I, I had a thorn on my leg, on my foot, you I keep was on going. 
I was told to wait until it, it festers and it's Until it Until it moves. Today, you need a surgical expertise and, and a bill. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, I actually remember Arta Gomu Goditani, Gua Libotula Mosisi, Ogwana Mogotani, Gua Neritoma Mibuka, when a poly little no yan out. Uh huh. And you know, when we, we you leave home, uh, your, your, your brothers or your, your family, uh, they expect you to bring bears, you know, you know, or you, you bring a hair, you. You bring something that you, you would have caught or harvested from the bush. Today, when you leave home, Bagorar would like a pizza. <laughs> it's now land of traffic, Sony. It's now land of traffic. Wow. Yeah, it's now land with a mayor. <laughs> you get me? Things have changed. <laughs> and and, and uh, I I am very very fortunate to be this artist who lives in, in both worlds, uh -huh. both time, t t timelines, you know, both periods, you know, uh, and it reflects also very much in my work. Mm -hmm. uh, as you see, mostly I try still to embrace the the traditional lifestyle that you know I enjoyed as I was growing up, and I I saw. I, I, when I was growing, I thought that a lot of things were foolishness uh, uh, to, to to be woken up early, to, to be told that when beds are, are seeing, it's time for you to get up, you know. Mm -hmm. Only to, to, right now, it, it's, it's, you know, I thought that it was abuse. I thought that it wasn't, it wasn't it, you know. Now, wow. now you know. Now, now, you know. Now, now, you know. Now, now, you know. Now, now, Rainbow colors are polluted. I understand, my brother. I understand. Rainbow colors are polluted. Right. We can't see the rainbow no more, Sony. And sometimes maybe what I need to. We um, don't see exactly, the exactly, exactly, exactly. So when was the last time you saw a rainbow though? Right, I can't remember. I saw I see rainbows on, 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 on my computer online. <laughs> so, so, okay. Um, so, we, we, <laughs> let's move on. That's a lot of things, man. Okay. So, how did you become a painter, man? How did you become a painter? What was the, uh, the inspiration or who inspired you? Take us to when you realize painting... Uh, is what you have to do. Uh, so when, when did you discover this talent? Uh, I, I don't know. You know, painting is, is a language, Sony. Okay. Uh, it's language. So it's hard for me to remember when exactly I started talking. So it's also very hard for me to remember exactly when I started painting. Uh -huh. Even you, if you ask the word, Sony, when did you start to have speech? I mean, you can estimate. Uh, but you cannot have like uh, 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 the exact date. So I estimate that I've been painting for the past 31 years, mm -hmm. the past three decades. I'm 43 now. Yeah, I'm 43. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We are twins. At least younger than me, and you look younger than 43. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in a mad heart. Okay, okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the th 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 31 years of painting, I I, I was uh, given some awards, I was given some encouragement, some incentives by a lot of other people, but, but it's not really, really I I important. The greatest achievement that I've ever made in art is to discover that I'm talented as an artist so, and to pursue it, you know, to follow it. To, to, and I'm going to follow it to the end. I'm going to mm. uh, paint through and through and through. Mm. I am very fortunate to be born in this country. I am fortunate to be in, in, in painting in my country. Mm -hmm. I am very fortunate to be born Mobotswana, where there's so much 
the culture is very rich. Mm. Uh, yes, I was talking about how uh, the culture is moving and you know pollution, mm -hmm. but not as defiled as you know I see in other places. Mm -hmm. You get me. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm fortunate to still to be right now where I am. The river is still flowing. I can see elephants if I take a drive from here. Elephants roam around all these places. So you know I'm very very fortunate to have all this inspiration around here. I'm very fortunate to be born in a country where we, we got, I think, uh, the most beautiful women in the world. So, you know, I, I love and cherish them. And, you know, you always see them in my work. So the inspiration... I, I, I can see women in your work right now behind you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right behind me. So, uh, uh, I didn't do primary school mm -hmm. so, uh, 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 because it was not my time, Sony. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, maybe uh, maybe because of my, my, my tribe, Kimuze Zuru Nawan. So, you know, when oh, I was... Hold on, uh, hold on your thought, and I'm not trying to go... Please, I want you to continue there, right? And yeah. and because I want to pick up when you said that Kana Kimuze Zuru you know, my mother used to teach Kosefar, you know, when I was yeah. young. And this yeah. Bezazuru, I had never tasted uh, a peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. And these guys, man, you know, because they had a little camp somewhere, you know, where they were selling their furniture and all that kind of stuff for, for all the teachers. You know, that's what I like about, you know, this is really, they always work. You know what I yes. mean? They always yes. work. So they invited my mother and I to their camp over there and they gave us like a you know, um, slices of bread with peanut butter, man. It, it was so tasty. <laughs> that was my first. I fell in love with peanut butter then. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you see how strong I am right now. I think I owe it also to my mom, uh, the diet and the uh, the try the diet that is eaten. Rijastampa, Rijasadza, what's what? Uh-huh. Rijasaza, Rijastamba, Rijadovi, Oswara, you know, my mom who cook uh, vegetables and put uh, dovi, peanut butter in it, you know, and mm -hmm. it was so cool. Yeah, now, you know, I miss it because uh, nobody cooks it for me. M mom is late, you understand? Mm -hmm. So these things, these things, Sony, uh, to grow up in 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 that kind of a family setup, and also uh, we I I come from uh, a family that had like that, that that when they were inventing money or or, or, or making money uh, or, or, or or creating money, my family was kind of skipped. You understand? Mm -hmm. We were. Not we were not on the list, so money was wasn't meant for us. You understand? Mm, mm, so we mm. we were kind of poor, mm -hmm. and uh, all these things also, you know, as a man, you don't become a victim of circumstances. You you mm. wake up, you know, you get up, you know, and you know, you 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 you, you feel that uh, you need to make your family proud. You need to do something for for yourself and for your family. You know. Yeah, yeah. So it's some of the driving forces that you know made me to, mm -hmm. to 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 be painting and maybe to be to continue to be only men standing in, in this art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so you so you never went to school for it for for painting. No, 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 no. I didn't. I'm a self-taught artist. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody inspired you. I came to know about Salvador Dali when I was uh, growing and I, I, I loved the way he was painting. Mm -hmm. I came to see paintings of uh, the uh, landscape and uh, landscape and wildlife painter like David Shepard, mm -hmm. uh, Paulo Gasmas, and mm -hmm. I was, as I was growing, I came to know and read a lot about Frida Kahlo and her husband Diego Rivera. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I came to know the Mexican painter, uh, mm. painters. So I came to know about them and I read about them. And, you know, I, I saw their work and, mm. you know, I 
appreciated it. I, I felt uh, I needed to, to do the same for, for my community. Uh, the way they were painting, they were relevant uh, to, to their communities and times. I, I felt, you know, I needed to, to do the same. Uh, and recently, when I went to Germany, I went to museums and saw a lot of Rembrandt, a lot mm -hmm. of uh, Pollock, a lot of Picassos, mm -hmm. and a lot of Salvador Dali's work, you understand? And mm -hmm. uh, I, I went to, to Norway, I saw Munch's work. Mm -hmm. you know, and what did you think about that? Uh, I feel they were great. Mm -hmm. One thing we had in common, Mm -hmm. They worked very hard. They pro they were pro prolific. They were producing. Mm -hmm. Most mm -hmm. of his artists were prolific. They were producing, mm -hmm. and you know, it, it just like came to me that you know, mm -hmm. I would not be an artist if I don't have paintings. If you want to be a musician, Sony, let's hear your music through the speakers. <laughs> don't don't just talk about it. <laughs> Don't just boast about it, you know. You be <laughs> what what I'm, I'm seeing. Uh, a lot of people were gifted and didn't pursue it. Right now, they be talking like old men who went to the mine. You know, mm -hmm. when uh, those old men who went to the mine will be like, now tama ugutama bunu ko 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 South Africa kwa stakune hula sang. And what did you do? Kwa stakune hula sang. Nothing. Uh, and you know, they they are and. <laughs> Now we were around and we went like Liburu Lady Rayana Liana Liana. I will get some at Yanami, we'll get a Kerega Massimo. That's why I want to kill the family business. You understand? Uh, uh. So the, the, I, I want to be an artist who shows his work in that manner. And I want to produce uh, as many paintings as possible uh, because. Like I say, art is, is a language. These works that I produce are statements, are words, are paragraphs, are my opinion, my voice, you understand? So, and this is the umbilical connection between me and your ears. For you to hear me, we need this umbilical co code. So, and my work is uh, for people to hear what I'm trying to say. I think they have to see my work. They need to come to galleries and find my work. In my latest book that is called Living with the Brush, I'm saying to my son, if you are going to be a witch, make sure you haunt. You understand? <laughs> if my son is going to be a witch, he should haunt. He shouldn't just be Muloyan <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> because, because because it's going to happen. <laughs> yes, because it's going to happen. What's what? What I can work here for the pyramid. If I would like to direct him, if he say what he thinks about it, that one. Ah, if I say yes, how 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 much much can I do? So even in art. Even this art, when I say I'm going to have an exhibition, expect an exhibition. When you hear my name, Wilson and Goni, know that you are talking art. That's the drive, Zoni. That's that's that, that that's an artist. Otherwise, I have to quit. If I'm not producing artworks, I'll be lying to the people i'll be lying to you because the day i tell you that i'm an artist i'm making a promise for me to produce works that you see when i say i'm an artist i'm making a promise i hope you get me i, I i'm listening man you are inspiring me yes so you if i don't produce artworks, if i don't produce artworks when i promise you that i'm an artist I think I'll be wasting your time and I'll be taking you for a fool. I'll be messing up with your integrity. Whew. Yeah. This is for everyone. <laughs> this is for everyone, sorry. Yeah.
If you say you're a baker, we need bread. Mm -hmm. Simple. You know, sometimes I'm speaking with uh, upcoming artists and I'm just telling them either excuses or results. Mm -hmm. By that, I mean, today I come to you, Sony, I've been sick and COVID has been blah, 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 blah. You know, I can't cash a check from, from such excuses, you understand? I can't cash a check from, from excuses, Sony. But, you know, if I come and say, you know, Sony, uh, when the, this COVID was hitting hard, you know what I did? I produced 20 paintings. And, you know, this is all I have, these 20 paintings. Uh, you know, I can try to negotiate something and walk away with uh, a, 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 a few coins. And, you know, I can be able to finance my career further or feed my family or buy bread, you, you know. But if I just come with excuses, you know, COVID scared me and, you know, I stayed away and, you know, I could not go to the shops to buy materials and blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. You know, I cannot hand, I cannot put my, 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 my hand in front of you and say, pay me for excuses. Would you pay for excuses? No. For real. So... When COVID came, I closed myself in. And you know, for, I've been fortunate to have all the moments of isolation anyway. So I just been painting in my studio still. So nothing really, really, really changed. I just continued. Mm -hmm. I just responded by producing a book so that you know I could supply uh, my clients with my, my latest book as an exhibition to make a little bit of revenue to keep going because I've got kids and I've got a mouth myself it's food that's innovation because you know your, your your customers could no longer come and see you because of COVID, right so you decided like okay since they are not coming to see me i'm gonna go and see them with my work i'm gonna send them my work true and you worked hard for that i worked very it wasn't hard. just a measure it wasn't just like just didn't come together by itself <laughs> you know it's not, it's not, it's not uh, what currently my African brothers and sisters believe in. Uh, you know, they believe in miracle and magic, you know. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know no, 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 no. Uh, that stuff doesn't work. <laughs> That's work, you know. It doesn't work, bro. You, you know, you need sweat. Wow, that's 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 inspiring, man. And you know, I know that you know a lot of our, our audience they're going to you know listen to this and apply this to what they are doing. I think this is a yes. great inspiration. Um, yes. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That is, that is uh, a very very important uh, aspect, mm -hmm. and you know, a, a point of operation for an artist to realize that you know, as an artist, it's not about taking paint and load it on the canvas, Sony. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, uh, bringing the souls of your audience home. When I say to your soul reaches home after seeing my work, I mean that you get inspired and say, yes, yes, Mr. Wilson, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'm going to, you know, and you tumble over and, you know, you start working, you know. I want, I want my paintings to inspire people to say, yeah, you know, yes, that's what I wanted to hear, you know. So it's, it's, it's about, uh, this painting is about, uh, making uh, you find meaning in life. It's it's it's. I'm trying to 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 douse uh, ounces of energy into 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 my audience mm -hmm. to steer up and to be alive. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm I'm sharing some love, and love is a beautiful thing. So I feel the love, man. Yeah. yeah, I'm sharing some love with these paintings, you know, and. I, I hope uh, my audience feel the love and, you know, they embrace it. Uh, because one other thing, Sony, is only now, it's only now that art like mine lives for us, you know. We, we might never have moments again uh, to, to have this art live for, for us while I'm there or while you are there. Well, the, the, world, the, the way the world is, is changing and the world, the, world, the world is evolving right now, uh, and because only certain people can do or are willing to do the work, yeah, um, it, it it might take us another hundred years to uh, see somebody like you. 
true, 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 we true. have to value now <laughs> you know true. what i mean true <laughs> you know true true so so i i, I want to go back i want to go back a bit so when you were in in primary school or secondary school uh were you drawing then? Were you painting when you were in second at, at Moedin? Did you say Moedin, right? Yes, Moedin, Moedin College. Uh, did, did yes. you start doing? Uh -huh. I didn't. I didn't do primary school. I oh, you didn't, didn't do. do uh -huh. I did from one up to from five. So you didn't do primary school? No, 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 no. I didn't. It was not what? my time. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's that's amazing, man. So, so Ed Moedin, yeah. did some of the teachers recognize your work? Did some of the students recognize your work? Uh, yes, uh, people saw saw my work, but they didn't understand what it was. And uh, in one of the latest documentaries that were made uh, about me. I'm actually glad my former headmaster, Mr. Mulusuanziane, says, you know, the two years that we spent with Wilson Ngoni at Wedding College, it was like we spent a decade. We, so it was like we spent 10 years because with these paintings, it was handful because, you know, I was, I was like always painting. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, I, fortunately, I was also very good with mathematics and sciences. So... Naturally, I, I think no, you are because I, I'm gonna tell you something. One of your work, I was like, this is science and mathematics. There is no way he's not being, he's not applying math, even if he's not consciously doing that. But yeah. I see math and science here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I, 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 I had that special uh, mm -hmm. uh, character of an artist even when I was at school. So. Uh, uh, People saw me paint, they didn't really, really understand what it was. Mm. Sadly, uh, sometimes what we see in, in schools, mm -hmm. because my maths teacher saw uh, a student who could fulfill his own dreams, mm. a student who could pursue mathematics and go to greater heights, mm -hmm. a student who could uh, pursue history and become a historian. That's what my history teacher would wish for. Mm -hmm. a, a, a student who could pursue horticulture and become one of the greatest farmers. So that's, mm -hmm. you know, so I was under pressure from my teachers who mm -hmm. wanted me to do this, pursue that, pursue this, uh, because I was like excelling in them. But, you know, now I was frustrating them because I didn't want all that. I wanted to be a painter. Wow. So you see, out of that frustration, they were throwing hands, they were throwing remarks at me every time, you know. And, you know, quite a lot of times they were giving example, uh, say that, you know, if you fail all other subjects, Wilson, what are you going to do with your art? And, you know, one time I asked my teacher, why do they put art in schools if I'm going to be nothing with it? I asked him if he's contradicting the Minister of Education uh, for bringing art in schools. And, you know, I was deemed as rude. The other time, my other teacher finds me painting, Sony. You see, mm -hmm. we are th there are 34 of us in class, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm painting outside. You know, it's time for maths, math math mathematics. Classes, everyone has to be there. He finds me painting out there. He leaves uh, 33 students in class to come and try to force me to come to, to mathematics. I asked them, you know, if I fail as a single student, it's fine. Go and attend to 33 others and make them pass. At least make half of those pass. They didn't understand, Sony. They didn't understand. They didn't see it. Now, sadly, the false dignity officials feel when they are before students is like a pastor before a congregation. They try 
to channel us to wherever they feel they want us. We become their toys, you understand? We become their puppets. So these are some of the things I guess uh, our academic system and our parents, our communities should really, really observe. Someone who is gifted in certain areas, they need to be given a chance. They need to be recognized. They need to be encouraged to pursue their dreams because we can't all be teachers. We can't be all uh, historians. We can't all be artists. Someone has to do something. I can't be painting and baking bread at the same time. Mm. Wow, that's powerful. <clears throat> you know, I, I remember talking to uh, to Donald Molusi. You know, he, because he does. You know, his work is more into uh, decolonizing our our curriculum or our education system. And what you're saying is like, you know, our education is still, you know sort of kind it, of colonized, yeah. <laughs> you know. It, it needs to wake up. Yeah, it needs to wake up, yeah. It needs to wake up. Our education system, it needs to wake up. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, uh, a lot of things that we are taught at school, mm -hmm. some of them, they don't make sense. They don't even not, are not relevant in, to our communities. In the other time, you know, I asked, I asked even, you know, what would I do, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish you could you, you you brought your 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 guitar so you can play us one of your one of your but you just seen though. You know, I heard you yes. doing uh don't, don't don't remind me. I heard you doing uh the guy who was uh, the guy who just got out of uh prison two years ago or years ago. Hold on a second. Yes, Buju Banten. Buju, I heard you doing Buju. I love Buju. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Buju, I Buju is an icon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would love to meet him someday. Oh, you will? Yeah, you I would love to meet him. The, the energy will take you there, brother. <laughs> yes, you, brother. Yeah. you know, I, I used to, uh, when I was in the, when I used to live in LA, uh, because my wife knew that I liked Burning Spear, you know, whenever yeah. Burning Spear used to go to a, uh, 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 to Long Beach a lot. You'd be like, when whenever he shows up, we'll go and see a uh, lot. You know, it's a different energy. Man. Winston Rodney. <laughs> exactly. Yo. 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 Yeah. So yeah. we move, we, we, we continue. So, sure, sure. my brother. Yes. Um, You often travel to a northern part of Botswana, which I think you, you are in northern part of Botswana right now, right? Yes. Uh, especially the Delta. Is it because you are looking for, for inspiration? What is so special about this area? I, I, you know, I think as an artist, what I do is I, I, I douse for, for inspiration, like, you know, the way they douse for water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm with my antenna out searching for, for, for inspirational signals. Okay. And through the years, I think... Uh, I'm more comfortable in this region of the, of the world. Uh, when I come here, I start painting so easy, so so fluent, so fluid. You know, it's just cool for me. It's quieter here, and a, a lot of inspiration. So, mm -hmm. for instance, I love the the local communities. Mm -hmm. I love their wisdom. Uh, and you no, know, sometimes when you hear me speak, you actually think that it's Wilson we is smart. But you know, because of the interactions that I I, I, I encounter with local communities, with mm -hmm. Basara, with the mm -hmm. Baherero, with the Bayei, yeah. with the Mambukushu in this region, mm -hmm. uh, Sony, these people here yeah, need to be taken to be the professors at the universities, you know, so that they can wake people up. You know, they can uh, drill the skulls and pour uh, liquids, uh, what, what do we call, residues of 
wisdom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is one of the reasons why I love to paint from here because inspiration is readily available. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Because it's, I've, hot, it's hot here and oil paints dry quicker. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Is that why you 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 paint a lot of? Uh, I've seen some uh, animal paintings, wildlife paintings. Plenty, plenty, plenty of wildlife animals around here. Mm -hmm. Plenty. Just if I walk, if I walk just a few moments from here to to, to this side. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll I'll be seeing kingfisher, uh -huh. white kingfisher, giant kingfisher, pygmy kingfisher. You know all the types. I'll find uh -huh. fishermen uh -huh. uh, fishing. I'll see the the the, the African jacana. I'll I'll find people on the river fishing water. You know I'll find kids swim and sometimes I just dive with them. You know. Uh -huh. Yeah, so so much inspiration, and uh, these are things that I love to paint. But 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 when you paint though, when you paint those boys, you know, swimming in in the river, or you see a flamingo, or you see a zebra, uh, do you take a picture like a camera? You know, take a picture, or you just like you know picture with your eyes and put it in your heart, then you paint later on. How does that work? What what is that? I, I use both. Mm -hmm. I, I, I carry my cameras with me and, you know, I can photograph. But, you know, Sony, mm -hmm. the most important thing about mm -hmm. these things for you to go and breathe the same air, mm -hmm. the lion is breathing. Mm -hmm. You need to go and breathe the same oxygen that bird is breathing. You need to feel. You need to be there. That way, you, you, you don't paint the body and leaving out the soul. Wow. I've never heard that. That's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Wow. So you have to go and immerse yourself in that environment. You taste, what, taste what those subjects are tasting. Are tasting. That's how it becomes the way it is. Otherwise, it will be half. And when it is half, it becomes fake. Wow. I can tell you a lot of stories about my subjects confidently and honestly. So, you know, uh -huh. there has to be somewhere where the truth about life is. And that somewhere has to be art. And for you to get this truth on the canvas, for it to be felt, for it to be seen gracefully, you, 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 you need to kind of research. You need to, if it, you talk about the rain, you need to know what rain is, you know? Otherwise, you'll be talking about Coca-Cola pouring, you know? Because... You don't know what rain, the rain is. You just be talking about, say, Coca-Cola was pouring from the sky. You see? So you need to know what exactly you are talking about. Painting is a language. Language is borrowed from the environment. The environment and influences or argue well or only musunyana it was musunyana ili simo sako simo simo tikulu hongi ekile mwako yoko awa kwa china kwa sa kwa kwa wana misunyana kwa wana wikitore au akutu musunyana kutuwa hii yano kwa kwa na ki ha ki ki reta li kwa nyane dila ki adibona di ki adibona di uwa ki 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 monu ke ke bona batho ba dira se tse ba di dirang ba tshela ka ba tshela ka teng a hwe gone kwa no ba 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 tshwara di thabe ke mo long le ke a ithuta le nna ke a tlhaleha so a motho a tlhalefa o dira ya o supa botlhale bo ka tsela mo 
So my response to the to to the motivation, to the stimulus, to the inspiration is to produce these works the way you see them. Wow. Um, so talk about the time when people started, you know, realizing that we have an artist here. Because it has not always been like that. <laughs> you know? yeah, I it took a lot it. of work for people to start noticing that, you know what, this guy is the real deal. Yeah, bro, you know, I had moments when mm. people were so emotional, so, so emotional when they were around me, around my work. Mm. You know, where you find everyone with tissues and, you know, they're crying. And, you know, at moments... We find everyone is like lighting a cigarette with another during such moments, you know, and mm. you'll be wondering what exactly have I done? Mm. Yeah, you know, you you, you find uh, people telling you that when I saw your painting, I, I, I when you posted that painting, say on, on Facebook, mm. I, I, I got up and went to, to the uh, sports field and I, I, I jogged three rounds, you know, at midnight. Because it so touched me. It touched me. You know, when you hear people say, you know, Wilson, when you painted my portrait, we, we, we threw a party with my girlfriend, with my kids. Wilson, when you posted that painting, we gathered around my phone with my mom and my, 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 my family and, you know, um, even the response right now on Facebook, still on social media, or on just calls people would give me. You know, I had the privilege to to have the former late president, Sekitimi mm Masire, -hmm. had an audience with him, and he was just telling me, I want to go and knock out on Sankati. I had the, the privilege to meet Thabo Mbeki, the former South African president, and you know, he was just saying, young man, you are so talented. I had the privilege to meet international celebrities. I had the privilege to meet people and celebrities and, you know, people in, who, 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 are, who go to church, religious people, they just say, let's pray because, you know, this work is not, it's not you, it's beyond life, it's beyond the canvas, you know, it's, it's something else. So let's just pray for this to continue. Let's pray for, for you to have more grace, you know, so it made me emotional. I had people want to buy paintings for big money in the past. Uh, I didn't know what it was. So I wanted money that I could finish. I didn't want 20,000 bucks during my early years, you know. But people, mm -hmm. people were seeing that, okay, these paintings are going to be worth big money. So they mm -hmm. want the offer. Good money. You know, I didn't know what that was. I was painting for fun. I paint for as a hobby. I paint for self healing, and I paint as a job. I paint uh, to to make you happy. I paint to decorate houses, you know, to to make people love to come back to their homes to 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 see my painting. I paint for people to, to when people have my work, I feel they can be happy. Because I feel these are beautiful paintings. By that, I mean, so I'm able to stay with these paintings myself. So this is what I wish for others, you understand? Mm -hmm. These paintings are a meal that I've cooked. I'm able to sit on the table and eat this, this meal. Wow. So, you know, I wanted to talk about the, you know, how some artists, you know, across the board, uh, some of them are, are failing to finish work or they get into depression and, and all that kind of stuff, you know, but you find a way, you find a nerve over there to continue to push you, to continue to, to do what you do. So do you have a message for those, you know, artists who are struggling to finish their work or they have given up or they fell into depression. And yesterday, I think it was a couple of days ago, you and I, we talked about how, you know, what you do can be therapeutic, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, first thing, first thing that I would like to, to announce to uh, 
uh, we have our guests to listen and to artists, uh, both professional and upcoming artists. You no, know, there's an outbreak of artists across the world. So mm -hmm. there's an outbreak of artists. Art, uh, a lot of people want to to voice uh, their their displeasure of governments. A lot of people want to to voice. Uh, their unhappiness towards uh, their politicians. And you know, one of the platforms which has been ignored for quite a lot of time is art. Now, people are making up for, for that uh, uh, loss of, of, of platform. So they're taking it to art to voice it out. Now, what happens is you can voice it and you get ignored and you get frustrated. You know, when you are not heard, you get frustrated. But you know, what we need as artists is to remember that politicians are fucked up and we just need to ignore them as well. <laughs> they try to frustrate us, we just need to ignore them and keep on going. Right. We've got people who are not politicians who are supportive and who are loving. Uh huh. So we need to focus more where we are loved than where we are frustrated. Politicians, Sony, even here in my country or in the neighboring countries or countries where I travel to, they make promises and promises will comfort, will comfort you if you are a fool. So what I need our artists to know is they don't need to be uh, inclined. We need to be neutral. That way you, do, you are not biased uh by, by 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 corruption you are not biased by religion you are not biased by political affiliation you just become you and you paint for the right purpose not to fulfill someone else's dream so this is what i'm seeing uh, like, like right now we i'm seeing quite a number of african artists either taking to drugs or committing suicide okay it's very very sad my fellow artists, some really, really gifted young men and young women are committing mm -hmm. suicide. It's not cool. It's not cool, Sony. So what we need, what we need, we need ourselves as artists to get together. We need to be in touch because we speak the same language. We feel the same. and mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Yes, we, we, we shouldn't treat each other as competition. We shouldn't treat each other as rivals. We need to be a family of artists across the globe that way sony we can be able to come up with solutions to what we are facing because sony if an artist in sri lanka or an artist in south africa and an artist in swaziland are in touch we can be able to to advise each other this is how i attend to problems like the kind that you are facing in sri lanka mm -hmm. this is when you are in India, this is how you can tackle problems like that. You know, we, we, we need that as a family of artists. Music, most of the American musicians or even Nigerian musicians, they are making it because they're featuring each other. As painters, we stay alone. And, you know, you can't generate enough wattage to... to, 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 to to light the whole earth alone. I can't generate enough wattage for, for, for enough electricity to, to, to light the world alone. I need others and I need a team. So these are some of the things. And Sony, um, one thing that I might just say, mm -hmm. as, mu as much as I'm seeing a lot of artists trying to be crazy and mm -hmm. fighting as hard as possible to remain normal. Mm. These artists, they just need to stay away from drugs mm -hmm. and vice. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's that's my plea. Uh, I think 
when they feel the energy is low, like mm -hmm. I do, I paint. When I, I'm not painting for, 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 for others, for commissions, I paint for myself. When I'm not painting for myself, I'm painting for others. I'm painting as a hobby, you know, I'm painting as a job, I'm painting to experiment, you know, so I'll just die painting, you understand? Mm -hmm. That's, mm -hmm. I think that's, that's the only reason I'm currently here on earth is just to paint. Mm -hmm. If artists realize that, you know, these are things they are meant to do and the reason why they have to continue living is to produce artworks they need to 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 produce artworks and not to kill themselves so you know what killing yourself is bad you know how mm. right now i started representing my family and my classmates and the school where i went to and the community in which that school is in and the community where my family is and the nation and the continent and the world. You understand mm. to what scale the loss will be if I'm to take my own life right now because I'm frustrated by either politicians or someone is not by my work. Recently, I was just joking with a friend that you know one day when you wake up and find the whole of Facebook saying rest in peace Wilson, at least you've left us paintings. We will cherish your work. You've done your part. What would you feel? All the people who see my work one day waking up and finding that you know it's rest in peace Wilson. I think it needs to be it needs to be proper it needs to be understandable and not they shouldn't be beaten by the idea of me causing that harm because right now as I'm painting mm -hmm. the influence the love that I'm giving is felt which technically yeah. means equally the pain that I'll cause will be devastating so artists need to think about what they are doing to, to, to their people, to, the, to us, by taking their lives, it's, it's, not, it's not the straight method of doing things. It's not proper. So what we need to do is we need to paint and we, we, we need to produce artworks only. That is the therapy, that is the medicine to the whole uh, illness. You know, the world is sick, so it needs to be painted again, you know? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's deep. That's deep. That's a message of hope. <laughs> I, I want to ask you, uh, I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if you can see this. My copy. What do you call this this painting? What do you call this painting? Marikopi. Marikopi. Why Marikopi? This man, this... I just remember myself. I mean, can, can you talk a little bit about this <laughs> this painting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it nice, though. I'm going to show it nice, you know, but right now, I'm <laughs> just happy it on my phone, you know, so... Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's one of the paintings there. Mm. You know, I think we need to hold life in that manner. We need to, 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 to suck life to the fullest. We just need to enjoy it. We need to, to, to blow it. You see, Marikopi is like having two big oversized cups. Okay. Yes. See how she's just holding that. She's uh -huh. pretty beautiful. She's <laughs> healthy and strong. But you see the way she's just like having big cups like and that painting is a surrealistic painting if you know yeah. what surrealist is you can see her face but you can't see it you can feel her face but you can't see it you can feel her contentedness but you can't you can't see her face you can't see her cheeks you can't see her smile you can't feel her happiness but you can just like feel it you can right, feel her right 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 yeah so you know when when i painted that you no know, i just 
get the e e excited about painting this young baby just mm -hmm. you know gorging yourself with some some syrup <laughs> that's, that, that's <laughs> wonderful man um, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. um and then there was a you know last year i talked about this but but i think you and i we talked not on camera um, uh, how you saw this guy in, uh, I think, by the river or something, you know? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tatao. 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 Mm -hmm. Tatao. Yeah. Uh, that painting, I saw that boy be, be overseas, you know, when you're in Shakaway and the other side of the, 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 the bridge is called overseas. So I saw him. Okay. Uh, Kosukondomboro. Okay. Yes, and you know, I just liked uh, him. I, that painting, I was basically experimenting away from my golden browns mm -hmm. to, to purples, uh, colors that, you know, form his skin color. Sony, has you noticed uh, people with bar uh, area, your knee, your knee, because of the, the darker skin color, and what's the pimple? Ah, I bought the pimple and skin color. Someone is a party, so outer Mogubone, you go to extreme yellow, yellow colored people with like golden skin, Lebone, so smooth, so fine. When they age, they have like these wrinkles. So, you know, this is some of the things that you know I'm meeting in this, in, in this region when I mm -hmm. see the disparity between like uh, color pigmentation i hope you understand me in a proper yeah, way yeah 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 you know, yeah pigmentation in, in, in a nasty uh, i mean in a lovely way bro i hear you I, I hear you, <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know, you know so yeah how also a person transforms from smoothness it might go be one or a smoothier Right, and, you know, she she grows to wrinkles. Setting one, how does age and time create all these things? It's only one thing: food. I hate what? food. I hate food, so. Uh huh. Yes, food is the only source of age. So, what do we you eat? Know? Changes us. Yeah, yes, we eat to grow. We eat to 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 continue with 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 time. We continue to face all these things. You know, if we didn't eat, I don't think that we'd be facing all the challenges of life. And you know, with just to 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 to, to go offline, off track. Mm. I don't go to wedding ceremonies because you know they have piles and piles of food. I don't like. I don't. I don't enjoy that. Wow. I just wow. see people say, okay, so now they're eating so that they can grow old. Not saying old age is bad. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I just like, okay, people are eating to grow. That's why you look 28, man. So so you, you don't eat meat, you don't eat what? You, you don't eat sweet things? I, I, or? I don't eat especially potatoes. I, I have a phobia for potatoes, so I, I don't eat potatoes at all, at all, at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and the, the amount of foods that I, I eat are quite limited. I drink a lot of water. Yes, I, am, I, I, I want to grow old. I want to have wrinkles. I want to have white hair. The reason why I cut my dress, I want to, to have white dress. So my hair is starting to white, to, uh -huh. to silver. So I want Mine to... Mine is to white have... already. My... <laughs> <laughs> many dreadlocks of white strands it's coming up man. So... <laughs> imagine 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 i have these dreadlocks with all white yeah so i was going to ask you why you cut you know your dreadlocks though that was one of the questions that... i'm waiting for my hair to be white all of it so that i can put back okay there. okay yeah. okay okay you still look great though um but mm -hmm. i want to ask you because you talked about wrinkles you know uh, there's this uh it's it's so fascinating and 
and it's so immersive when you look at it is this uh is this picture this painting right here yeah yeah there's a lot of life man into this i mean she's she got wrinkles but you can see life you can feel life right but the wisdom yeah. that is oozing out of her as well yeah uh sony you why call this painting what <laughs> why it's called one look one look okay mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> The reason why I'm painting uh, old people, uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm getting old as well. I'm mm -hmm. gonna be old. I'm gonna be someday, old. someday. Mm -hmm. One thing that I've observed about our people. So mm -hmm. when you when you walk on the streets here, when you walk mm -hmm. into the village, when you walk in towns here, and mm -hmm. you see these young beautiful women, uh, mm -hmm. smart and fresh. You see these young beautiful boys, uh, handsome young men. Uh, so full of uh, ebonite wisdom, you know, so so much nice gait, walks and dress. You 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 see beauty everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now we see this. I'm gonna say this as a man. Mm -hmm. I see this beautiful girl, breast busting and forward as it if you do just like push and uh throw out the the, the blouse bum so big as if it will burst and the smooth so soft like it will never get a cut you know just the feel of the skin the way it takes light proper sony we want them we we mm -hmm. select them we stop and propose love we want to be their friends. We want to intermingle with them. We want to sit with them. We want to be seen with them. Mm -hmm. Let them grow and have wrinkles. You know what Africans will say? Mm -hmm. They're witches. You get me? Mm -hmm. We distance ourselves from them. What is that? Sumi? We are distancing ourselves from wisdom of age. The wisdom they've gathered through the passage of time. We are distancing ourselves from our African scientists. These wrinkles are prints. These wrinkles are paragraphs that we could be reading if we are to trot through this passage of hard times. You understand? Our elders are not witches, they are scientists. Our elders are shelves of wisdom. I wish this generation could embrace that. We could learn quite a lot of stuff. But unfortunately, look at me, I'm like this. Next thing, I'm wrinkled, have white hair, my back is bent. And no, this old man, this old man, Kimuloi. I want my people. I want my people to love their elders. I want my people. If things were my way, if things were my, were, were my way, I think governments could be inviting uh, these old people to at universities again to come and give lectures. I think common sense is needed in our universities, in our academic system. There should be a subject here, common sense, and common sense we can only get it from our elders. That's how I feel. Wow, that's so true, man. Uh, Wilson, I know we have. This, you will see a lot of my paintings with old people. I'm just cherishing them. I'm just appreciating them. I'm just showing them some love and respect. Wow. We need. Them. We need them. We need them. So, because that. I know that we have gone a little bit over an hour now, and I don't want to keep you for a long, long time. I think you, you know. Yeah, and, and the battery, actually, I didn't charge my phone, so my battery is actually reporting that, you know, it's going to be off in, in a few moments. Wow. So, yes, for that. Wilson, uh, what, what challenges have you faced as far as your art is concerned, and how did you overcome them? 
it's hard for me to be an artist in a community that is blind, Zoni. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for you to be a guitarist in a community that is deaf and dumb. When you're strumming a guitar, they won't understand what you're doing. They don't see it, they don't feel it, they don't know what you're doing, you know. But the only way when you live in such a community, you need to bring them to awareness of your wishes, your intentions, you know. And for you to be able to bring them to the awareness of your intentions, you need to have strong artistic philosophies. And you need to have strong work ethics. You need to gather your own personal integrity and you know, put it on the table for them to feast. That way you, you, you win. I brought art to my people. I taught my people what art is. And thou, now everybody at schools, they write exams about me. They are researching about me right now, right now in, my, in, in my local community. And I've seen a book in Zimbabwe that features my work there, you know. So it, it's an academic book. So I brought my people to the awareness of what art is. How did I do that, Sony? By enjoying my own art myself. You don't paint and can't hang the painting in your own house and expect other people to, to, to hang it in their houses. So these are some of the things that made me to, to actually win. I painted, I stood tall and represented my art very, very well. I stood by my art. It was like a smile, Sony. When I give out a smile, I receive a smile. Yes, yes. When I do. give out a frown, <laughs> I receive a frown. That's right. <laughs> the best thing that I must give is a smile. Mm. So I offered a smile and received a smile. So this is like how I managed to actually win the hearts uh, of my followers and people, my viewers, people who see my work and people who purchase my work, who collect my work. So... Um, Basically, that's that's it. Because now, when you are able to win and make sales, you can now finance your work further and wider. Mm. Yeah. So, talk about the uh, what is an uh, I'm a bird. I'm a bird exhibition. I'm, I'm a bird exhibition is like um, the last exhibition uh, for, for 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 a period of time. For now. Mm where mm -hmm. I'm giving exhibitions these names that talk about uh, me and my freedom and my, my, my joy, that like, you know, where I'm just going, galloping like a horse in the, in, in, in the wind, mm -hmm. you know, like where, where I'm just like flying, painting, just enjoying it. So uh, random subjects, random paintings in, in this. So the next uh, series of exhibitions that I'm going to have will be now centered around certain themes only. Mm. If I'm painting outdoor kitchens, it will be outdoor kitchens, African kitchens, it will be African kitchens and no wildlife. Mm. If I'm painting African faces, it will be faces only and no wildlife. If I'm painting wildlife for a particular exhibition, it will be wildlife. So, because I'm versatile with subject, I'm trying now to go a little bit more professional mm -hmm. and a bit more composed mm -hmm. as to what makes the theme. So, mm -hmm. I'm a bird. Is this like Wilson and Gonu is just free and painting whatever that they want to paint, fly in this direction, like a swallow, mm -hmm. you know, swallows mm -hmm. is like, you know, mm -hmm. they glide mm -hmm. through the the the, the 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 air with their blades right exhibitions that shall follow will be around my dots you know i have five dots uh-huh so for the next period of time i'm going to have five major exhibitions that you know to be the blue exhibition to be the red exhibition it will be the black exhibition it will be the yellow exhibition and it will be the green exhibition so I'm going to be doing my dots in that manner. You know, I have a coffee table book uh, called Living with a Brush. Yes, so please talk I'll about see, that. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll be having copies of this book. This is like the, a collection of 126 paintings that, you know, I made into a coffee table book. Do you mind if I can just pick quickly 
pick a copy for you. Please, please do that. Please do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I have it right here. So it's actually a huge book. I don't know if you're able to see it. I'm, I'm able to see it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, that's so, a beautiful uh, yes, book, man. Yes, so yes, those are the dots that you're talking about? Yeah, 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 man. Wow. So can you talk about what those dots really resemble? I mean, like, do they... The, the yeah, green one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so in, in the book, uh -huh. I, 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 I have the, 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 the dots also. So uh -huh. this is what I say. In this book, I don't know if it's visible enough. Yeah, I can see. I can see a little bit. This direction in my life, I paint to unveil myself to let others to let my ideas be seen on canvas. So I have the green. The, the green dot is a symbol for hope, mm -hmm. and I have the yellow hope. The the, the the yellow dot is a symbol for for family. I have the red is love. I have blue. It's for freedom, and I have black. It's for myself. Uh, the black wow. dot is is called the earth. I think I'm the earth. Wow. I'm Africa. I'm a black man. I'm proud to be a black man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To be a Motswana. To be a Motswana. So those who don't have a book, they should go and get this book. I have my own book myself. So yes. <laughs> actually, I yes. need to get more. I need to get more, actually, you know. So I'm, I'm running I'm running out of these books because mm. I only printed a limited edition of 2,000 copies. Mm. And because it's quite expensive to print this book, it might be hard for me to make a reprint. Mm. But I hope those... Uh, and I hope and... I am so thankful to those who have collected this book mm -hmm. uh, in their collections that mm -hmm. they are enjoying this book and they are finding uh, the, its purpose, my intentions. Mm -hmm. Because I paint to contribute to the general happiness of humanity. So I hope they feel my contribution to their happiness. Wow. So, and can you can you can you leave me with uh, a message of hope? You need a message of hope. Yes. Let me see. Let me see so that I can refer to my book. Right. Okay. I'm just. I I just chose this painting. Okay. It says, "Give yourself some love." and give it to yourself for free. Thank you, my brother. Give it love. Give it to yourself for free. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Take care. Take care now. It has been one a love. wonderful one hour. One love. One love. Yeah. Peace and blessings. <laughs> bless up, brother. Bless up. Bless up, brother. Bless up. <laughs> <laughs>